Hi, this is Tom Kenny for the iPad in the Classroom series. Previously on the series, we've、uh, talked a little bit about Quizlet, which is a very useful app for students and teachers to help them、uh, memorize vocabulary or any set of data. Now, I want to show you a website that I stumbled across in my search. The name of the website is flashcardapps.info. Just a site that a guy who had a lot of free time. On his hands,、uh, decided to put up to help people like you and me figure out which app is exactly the app that I need. Now, because I have Quizlet already, I want to choose an app that、uh, will allow me to import、uh, data right from my Quizlet account, so that I don't have to make cards from scratch. One of those is called A Plus Pro. It's a little bit expensive, but、uh, after you take a look at it, maybe you'll understand why I bought it because of all the cool bells and whistles that go along with it. Now, when you're adding a set, what you're doing is actually accessing your Quizlet account online through Wi-Fi, and then downloading that set into the app. So you press download. And import, and voila! You've got、uh, maybe 30 cards. So here we've got age. You hit it, and then it shows you the Japanese version of it. Anyone, dareka, and on the sides here, don't know, not sure, no. These are called Leitner boxes, and they keep track of、uh, what you know and what you don't know, so that you don't have to go back and review every card that you already know. All you have to do is review the cards that you. Weren't sure about, or absolutely didn't know. At the end of a study session of A Plus Pro, you can see how well you've done. You know, 60% no, 20% not sure. So that's a very nice feature, and it's worth、uh, maybe a few dollars of my money. A Plus Pro app. That's what I use for my Quizlet sets. For the iPad in the classroom, I'm Tom Kenny. Thanks for watching.